Hey there, gladiators, and welcome to SOS, Stevie on Scandal. This week's episode is about Say Hello to My Little Friend. Well, today I'm not going to do what I usually do and recap the entire episode, so I won't be discussing Senator Richard Myers and his Anthony Weiner like behavior or his wife who actually killed the girl. I will not be discussing Melly's little gaffe about the mic being on and her calling Lisa Kudrow trailer trash with a push-up bra. And I won't be discussing Cyrus's latest dirt digging expedition. That's because, gladiators, we got some serious things we got to take care of. First thing on gladiators is Olivia is stressed out. I mean stressed out. I think she needs a vacation. I'm talking about someplace tropical, white sand, fruity drinks. Second thought, maybe we should keep her away from the drinks. Y'all see how she's guzzling that wine? Don't act like you don't see it. So yeah, all in favor of Olivia getting a well-needed vacation, raise your glass. Harrison can run OPA. Next up, we got to talk about Jake and Huck teaming up. You know what I'm talking about? Child, that has disaster looming in the future if you know what I mean. Still, it could potentially be a good thing. We won't know for a while though. So I say, we table that till later. All in favor of tabling the whole discussion on Jake and Huck teaming up? Raise a glass. Okay, you knew it was coming. Operation Remington. What the hell is going on? Anyway, first, let's talk about what we know. We know it was a secret mission. And we know it was a rescue mission. So, what else do we know? Pete Foster, the man Huck killed in the last episode, he had the original flight plan with him in that trailer. Mm -hmm. He also had a tattoo on his arm that was the same numbers that were on the file that Huck and Jake stole. Pilot ID P521. Aircraft call number USN United States Navy 699. Yeah, he had all that tattooed on him. Okay? And then they say his record said he flew 86 missions but there's only 85 listed. One is missing. Guess which one? Mm-hmm. So now, what we found out from Jake and Huck was there were five people on the mission. Four on the ground and one flying the plane. Now, Pete somehow has it in his record that he was flying the plane. Which we now know he wasn't. Because Jake said... Fitz was flying the plane. Mm -hmm. So, the people on the ground had to be Jake, because we know they was together. Dead Pete. Brother from another planet, Joe Morton, Rowan, Eli Pope. That's really one person. I know it's confusing. And one more person. So, here's my questions. Who was the other person on the ground? Who were they rescuing? And what is the cover-up? Now, originally I said I thought that Operation Remington was something like the Mele, uh, uh, Abu Ghraib or, you know, one of those things. Benghazi. But now I'm thinking it's more like PT-109. Y'all too y'all too young to know what I'm talking about. PT one oh nine. JFK came out a hero. A little bit of scandal. Was he the hero? Did he really Yeah. This is sounding kind of PT one oh nine ish. If you think it's sounding PT one oh nine ish, raise a glass. If you know the answers to the questions that have been posed here, put them in the comments. Okay, let's keep it moving. Lastly, and this is really important. Who 
the heck is the brother from another planet? Now, we asked that same question last season when he was just showing up and nobody knew his name. We just knew he was like crazy. Okay, well, when they answered the question, they told us his name was Rowan. Ain't nobody called him Rowan since. They calling him Command and Eli Pope and whatever. Now, I, I, I'm confused. So now when Fitz went to his office and busted up in there talking about I thought it was time for a reunion, was he rolling up on Eli Pope or was he rolling up on Rowan? Or does the brother from another planet have a whole other name we don't know about yet? I pondered this. Fitz does not know him as Eli Pope. You know why? Because when he met Olivia Pope, he would have said something like, Hey, I, was, I had a buddy or a, com a commander or something back in the Navy named last name Pope. You any relation to him? Because that's what people say when they meet people that got the same last names. That's all I'm saying. But he didn't say that to Olivia. So he definitely didn't know him as Eli Pope. So was Eli Pope in the Navy as Rowan? Couldn't have been in the Navy as Command. Navy don't let you sign up under a name like Command. Because they got Commander so-and-so, Commander so That'd be very confusing. So who is he? And just to be clear, I don't think Fitz is scared of him. I really don't. You know, y'all keep forgetting about Fitz's homicidal tendencies. Mm-hmm. If you want to know, gladiators, who the heck? Shonda Rhimes, just tell us. What's going on? Why are we still guessing about this Eli Pope command Rowan thing? Gladiators, if you with me on this, well... Well, that about wraps it up for this week. Actresses out there, start getting your audition wear together because you know they're about to have an audition for Olivia Pope's mom. Come on, you've heard the rumors. They're speculating about who's it going to be. Maybe it's going to be you. Anyway, you know she's going to be on the show, if only in the flashbacks. But I, for one, don't think she's dead. Just remember, you heard it here first, and I am rarely wrong. So do me a favor and share this on your page so that other gladiators can share in the fun and click the subscribe button below because you don't want to miss a drop.